In this question, we have a system with an input and an output. And we're told that the output is related to the input in the following way. And we're given the input signal, e to the minus t u of t, so it's a single-sided exponential. And we're asked to find the output in the frequency domain. So the question is, find y of omega. That's the question. To find y in the frequency domain, we would first need to find y in the time domain. So y in the time domain is simply x of t minus x squared of t. x of t is just e to the minus t u of t, and x squared is the same squared. Now, u squared is just u of t. It's just 1, isn't it? So that's the same as u of t. So remember, a unit step looks like that, with an amplitude of 1. And if that were to be squared, it wouldn't change. So we can simply rewrite this as e to the minus t u of t minus e to the minus 2t u of t. And we're given this Fourier pair, so we can simply use that, noticing that here a is 1, and here a is 2, and that will give us our Fourier transform. Here it's 1 over 1 plus j omega. We have a minus sign between them, so there's a minus, then it's 1 over 2 plus j omega. The 1 and the 2, these are the values of a here. So all we needed to do to find y of omega was to first find y of t. And we did that by simply substituting the signal we were given, x of t, in the expression we were given. And that would be your final answer.